it is ended. I'll kill you, Vincent. <laughs> I'm not Vincent. Liar. Who else could you be? You are Vincent. You're a murderer. Now die. That's kind of a shame. He's one of the good guys. All a case of mistaken identity. What does it take? Like, how do I get an S rank? Like, those results are freaking amazing. How do I get an S rank? What am I supposed to do? Do I need to increase my killed monsters counts? Do I need to increase my hit average? Do I need to get an even better clear time? Maybe without reading files? Whatever, I'll work at it. But gun collection, almost complete. I'm only missing uh, the, the secret weapon, which I cannot find. I have to unlock it. So, not bad, if I do say so myself. Yes. Yes, I would. Uh, that hit percentage. I really hope I don't have to keep increasing the hit percentage. That would suck. Alright. Well, great success. So now all I have to do is show you the, uh, the extra stuff. Oh my god, finally! I, I know that I just cut from my playthrough to this, but this is my like 10,000th playthrough of this game because I really didn't know what it took to get an S ranking. I tried so hard. I got many playthroughs in a row that were under an hour long. I, I had... It got to the point where I actually started a new file because I wanted to see if I needed to increase my overall hit average to above 90%. And for two playthroughs in a row, I had 91. This time, I brought it down to 89. So clearly, 90% isn't what it's at. The only thing I can think of is kill every single enemy and have a decent time and decent accuracy. One guide I saw said under 90 minutes, over 75% accuracy, and murder everything. Well, I did that. So finally, I got my S ranking. Oh my god. This took forever. You know what's funny though, is it doesn't even show you anything for it. Yeah, 999. How many times did I play this game? Too many, that's how many. Leave me alone. Look at that, you got an S ranking. Did you unlock anything? I don't know. However, yes I did. I'm going to show you what I unlocked, and then I'm going to show you the final branching path in the game that I was too afraid to get through under normal circumstances. Well, we beat the game, and we didn't get any message about unlocking anything, but if you get an S ranking, then when you start a new game, you will find Rocket Launcher. M20A1 Rocket Launcher. This powerful weapon fires rockets and can defeat most enemies with one shot. Don't mind if I do. That's a bit of reloading time to be sure, but you will see that this thing wrecks shop. With this, I'll be able to show you the one path in the game I haven't taken because I've been too nervous to do so. I also realized that I neglected to ever check the grenade gun, so let's go ahead and get on that too. The M79 Grenade Launcher, an American-made weapon that is compatible with various types of ammo. Okay, there we go. Now let's move along. 
What I kind of like about this weapon is that it's really not practical for things like uh, the crows or even the dogs sometimes. So there is still a reason to use your other guns because one shot that can easily miss fast enemies is really not the way to go when it takes that long to reload. Well, let's give ourselves a sample shot. Yes, the zombie only takes two bullets to go down with the handgun D, but you gotta start somewhere, right? It's a shame that they don't blow up like in Resident Evil 1. Or 2. I guess 3 as well, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. And here we are in the prison. We're getting toward the third decision area of the game. I've only uh, exercised two options so far. Man, is this easy. Whoa. Can't have that. you recall that there was a, a Mr. X enemy that appeared, and then I had the option of going either upstairs to the roof and escaping that way, or um, entering the back end of this sort of pub area and then fighting through uh, Mr. X three times in a shorter area, I suppose, but more stressful. So here's an area where I pick up the rope, just making sure of something. This one's... yeah. So what I'm supposed to do is, this area is locked, so I need to fight my way through here, which is not a big deal. And then I'm going to start to make my way through the actual prison area where the cells are, through some naked zombies and such. Easy. Now here's where things get interesting. This was the area that led to the shower where you could find a shotgun, and this continued to uh, lead outside, I believe. Here's something that I didn't expect. I've done this before several times. Check the map. Surprise, surprise, right? What I didn't notice, somehow, is that... Is there a zoom button or anything? Well, the point is, there are stairs behind me, and that took me completely by surprise. They were right here the whole time. So, this is an area that I've never been to before. So let's see what that's like. From what I was told, it leads to a fight that's arguably harder than the final boss. Well, that's not a big deal. There is a lot of zombies, though. I could easily handle that with my handgun, but still, it's kind of a bunch. Nothing interesting in the cells, other than the zombies themselves. Fine, moving along. Giant Moth. From, like, Resident Evil 2. Now I have a rocket launcher, so I'm making this look a lot easier than it... should be. But you'll notice they give me a blue herb right here, because that could have potentially poisoned me. As for map, there's really only one way to go, as you can see. I'll grab the blue herb, though, because why not? I guess I can't investigate these. I'm wondering if anything was supposed to come out of these vents if I'd been too slow or anything like that. Oh well. Where was the exit? Was this supposed to be it? Like crawl through the vent? Wow, there's a hole which a man could enter. Not to be confused with the manhole by the way. So I need the rope for here, instead of over the roof. Interesting, so I still need that rope. Not that I could have missed it, but still, other use. 
Hey, new screen transition. What do you think of that? Hunters. Three hunters in one screen is pretty bad news. Well, there's a ladder here, and I assume no way to cross to the other side. But there's an herb there, so am I to assume that I'm going to be coming back down the other way? This is really the only thing I can do now, and it looks like it does loop around, so up we go. By the way, I found that hunters aren't terrible, especially if you encounter them by themselves, because a good handgun shot before they strike could uh, disrupt what they're doing. Also, this is... Oh, I can actually see back down, that's cool. This is very Resident Evil 2. I'm kind of surprised cockroaches aren't... Oh, those are my footsteps. I'm a little surprised cockroaches aren't coming from everywhere. Alright, down we go. Remember, this is not actually the area from Resident Evil 2. We're on Sheena Island. Still, cool little nod. Sounds like hundreds... Oh! Hunters are around here. Another. Thank you, what appears to be splash damage. And now we go through here, so it looks like I'm on the other side of that gap. The, the waterway. Well, the hunters didn't respond, so that's good. I gotta say, this is definitely a more difficult path than either of the normal ways. No doubt. So out we go into I don't know what. I'm curious as to how this is going to ultimately regroup with the other paths. This is a long room. It actually makes me nervous. It's like, it's too long. A switchboard. Cool. Okay, I guess I got nervous over nothing. I was really expecting something bad. With a room this large... One more room, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I didn't do this in my regular playthroughs. This is kind of a pain. This looks familiar. <laughs> Die, Vincent! Huh. This looks familiar, doesn't it? There's a ladder. I think there's a ladder at the end. Yeah. Yup. We're doing this again. Resident Evil 2 Gator, baby. I'll try fighting it for real just to see what its attacks are like. You know what? I'll, I'll even go for the Magnum. I'll just see what happens. Chill out. Chill. Wow! Wait. That... That's insane! Like, I'm straight up sandwiched between these things. The, you, you, the, come on! Come on! Nah, let's, let's do rocket launcher. That is unfair. That is absolutely ridiculous. Th this is a, this is a kill room. That is unfair. 
Where did this thing break out from? Over here, I guess? I like that I can actually see through back to where it came from. So, the there's a big hole. Something incredibly powerful must have created it. Yeah, what could it have been? I, I, did, I do like that you get to see back in that big pool that that is where the alligator came from. That is insane. So there's the ladder. And there's where the first one came from. So where does this take me? This is probably the end of the area because that is totally a boss room. Oh, we're back. So it all goes back here. Well, where did I come from then? Where did I come from? Oh, I guess here. The manhole's open. Alright, and then we get to the, uh, the end parts of the game. Now I gotta navigate this big office building, and then I gotta go to my way through the factory. So all that's really left to do is just get through the game. And by the way, I still haven't even had my first Mr. X encounter yet. This must mean that Mr. X is gonna probably first appear in Vincent's laboratory when I'm trying to get the key card and you just burst through the wall. So after all this, you know, you go through two gators, then you immediately get two hunters. Then I think zombies, then liquors, than a Mr. X encounter. That's it's pretty relentless. Here are the zombies. Wow, Mr. X can walk. That's cool. A little unfortunate for me, but badass. Okay, final boss time. Got him. Now for form two. kill him or he can, uh, I don't know, let's find out. Oh, he might be able to just make a hit. Oh well, I got him. Hooray!
What are we gonna do, mister? Yeah. What are we gonna do? I... I don't know. But don't worry. We can fly as long as we have fuel. Well, I didn't kill everything in sight, which is why I don't have an S ranking, but because I used the rocket launcher, that's pretty damn good time and accuracy. And look at that, complete gun collection. We've finally done it. I have done everything that there is to do in Resident Evil Survivor. <laughs> Don't care that I'm overwriting that file, this is the better one anyway. Feels good, man. Well, there we go. That was a better experience than I thought it would be. Well, we've done it. We have beaten Resident Evil Survivor. This was definitely an interesting entry in the series. I remember it being an extremely mediocre experience back when I played it in college, but now... Well, it's not my favorite, that's for sure, but it's better than I remember. The soundtrack surprisingly stands out. I really got into it. And the gameplay, it can take some getting used to, and it can be frustrating at first. My first playthrough of this game was about two and a half hours, which is kind of laughable because once you get used to the game, you can pull off 50 to 55 minutes if you know what you're doing. It got to the point where I was able to take every enemy down, with only a couple of exceptions, with the the fourth pistol, letter D. That thing is fantastic. Eight shots, but each of them pack a punch. Or each of them packs a punch, I should say. As for the game's place in the series, I don't think it's considered non-canon, but as far as I know, I don't believe that any other part of the series refers to Resident Evil Survivor, so it's just kind of this weird thing that exists. That said, when we picked up that one file that said that Sheena Island was even more important than the Arclay Laboratory back in uh, Raccoon City, it sounds like, ooh, we're trying to make this sound even bigger. But they were right. We blew up a research laboratory back in Raccoon City. And then we blew up another one. But in Resident Evil Survivor, yes, we still did that. We blew up another research laboratory where they were working on a better tyrant, but at the same time, this was basically an umbrella island, and it was effectively a factory for making tyrants. Remember in Resident Evil 2 when the first Mr. X dropped in its canister into the police station, and that was going to be your enemy in the B scenario? Well, remember, it was in, like, a six-pack in the vehicle that was traveling with it. So, maybe it came from Sheena Island? I don't think they're ever going to address that, but Sheena Island had that one room where there's like 12 Mr. X's being made, and even in basic gameplay you're fighting like four minimum. It's absolutely insane. So blowing up Sheena Island has got to put a dent in Umbrella. It interfered with the research, and it took out waves of tyrants, and it's a good thing we did that. So, Ark Thompson saves the day, and I guess he'll be an unsung hero in the annals of Umbrella history. This was a fun entry, and I'm definitely glad I played it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And thank you to DJ Gamer for the awesome title card he made. So, with Umbrella, or not Umbrella, with Resident Evil Survivor down, well... The next entry in the Resident Evil series is Code Veronica, and let me tell you, I haven't played that one since high school, and, uh, definitely getting in the mood to do that. We'll see when we get to that one, um, probably gonna do it soon. Definitely excited to do it as well. Again, thank you all for watching, and until next time, everyone.